I was inspired to work in vision because vision is probably our most important sense, the one we many of us fear losing the most. Uh, we've really, in the last 10 years, made huge breakthroughs in understanding something about the genes that cause age-related eye diseases, such as glaucoma, macular degeneration. It's been really exciting to work with scientists from the UK and our work funded by Fight for Sight, coming together to find the common genetic variants that cause disease. A lot of the work we do addresses questions that are very immediate in clinical care. In terms of the work that Fight for Sight has funded, that's entirely been about what children, young people and their families tell us about what it means to be visually impaired. That was the whole point of it, was to give them a voice so that as clinicians we don't just measure things objectively, like how far down a sight chart somebody can read, but what that means in terms of their activities of daily living. Eye research is an incredibly exciting field. We've seen enormous changes in what we know about eye diseases and getting closer to new treatments. We're seeing things now in clinical trials that 10 years ago we would just not have thought possible. The funding landscape now for science is the most competitive that any of us have ever lived through. And the result of that is that, you know, good science is not getting funded. Fight for Sight is a really important charity in terms of developing our knowledge and understanding of our disease and leading to future treatments. Sadly, we are only able to fund one in every eight of the research projects that come to us for funding. And that is really very, very sad for us because we know that we could make so much more of a difference the more funding we had. Certainly in terms of funding that we've received, that our group's received, it's been critical. The more I read about uh, the people who are involved in Fight for Sight, the families with children who have visual impairment, who are fundraising, has really enabled me to appreciate the amazing work that it does. In the UK, there are over two million people who have some form of sight loss. We know that for half of these people, their sight loss is avoidable, but for the other half, it's not so straightforward and it's only by investing in medical research that we are going to find ways to stop people losing their sight from a wide range of different eye diseases and conditions.